Welcome to About the House. At the opening of the 45th Parliament in August, Member for Parks Mark Coulton was elected Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives. We sat down with Mr Coulton to find out how he's been approaching his new role. The name um, sort of describes the role to a certain degree. When the, when the Speaker is not in the House, uh, um, I, I will be in there for a considerable amount of time. Uh, and so there are certain times of the day where I'm in the chair, the, the, the 90 second statements by members before question time, uh, and uh, mostly I do the entire um, matter of public importance after question time. Uh, but my primary responsibility is the Federation Chamber, and the Federation Chamber is the chamber that runs in parallel to the, uh, to the main chamber. Uh, uh, with the changes to the standing orders this week, uh, there will be much more business conducted in the Federation Chamber. And so uh, basically it means that instead of having one person making a speech at a time, two people can, can be speaking. Uh, Hansard operates up there, it's broadcast to the public. Um, but once the debate has come to its conclusion, uh, if there's a division required, then it's transferred back to the, uh, back to the main chamber. So there's no divisions up there. Uh, it's probably a little bit more intimate, a bit more relaxed, and so I'm responsible for that. Uh, my staff are responsible for the roster for the speaker's panel uh, and uh, for both houses. Uh, I have also responsibilities, I think, for the, and I haven't got to the bottom of this yet, but the Parliamentary Education Office, which I think is a very important part, um, you know, you know for, for the uh, school groups that come through. And I found out yesterday that I'm actually on the committee for uh, the artworks in the Parliament House, and uh, uh, there's a fair degree of irony in that position because uh, I am not known for my artistic uh, appreciation or talents, but uh, I guess I'm prepared to, to learn. The Deputy Speaker has a background in agriculture and has a farming analogy for every situation. I, I think politics is like horse breaking. I used to be a horse breaker uh, and uh, you, you can't lose your temper. You've, you've always got to be alert. Uh, you, you always can't turn your back because uh, when you're breaking a horse you might get kicked. Uh, but, you, but if you lose your temper, you've lost. And so I think when you're in the speaker's chair, uh, you're calm, you're respectful, you're pleasant. Uh, um, if you don't know what's going on, you pretend you do uh, and, uh, and, and try and put uh, a, just uh, a, a, a level of respect through the House while allowing the freedom for, for members to express themselves and, and, and not try to, to make it too boring. A big part of the Deputy Speaker's job is officiating debates on matters of public importance. What I'm coming to terms with at the moment is the balance between having a free-running uh, uh, debate uh, and, um, and keeping order in the House. And so uh, probably more relevant for the matter of public importance. The, uh, for, for people that are watching this now that wonders what a matter of public importance is, it's a bit like the old you know, high school debate. There's, uh, five uh, speakers from, from each side. The first speaker speaks for 10 minutes, the next speak for five. Uh, and it'll be a topic um, that is generally um, uh, submitted by the opposition, uh, generally has you know, strong political overtones and is generally relevant to the issues of that day or that week. And so it's an opportunity for members to uh, basically hone their debating skills, uh, uh, maybe to get some killer lines into a debate uh, to, to um, uh, it's great experience and so mostly it's uh, backbench members, maybe the first speaker led from a, by a junior minister. And so, um, but it's very easy for emotions to, 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 to get a, a bit out of hand and, and then if it becomes disrespectful then you've got to pull it in order. Thanks for watching. For more news from inside the House of Representatives, you can follow us on Twitter or Facebook.